Adams, welcome back to our channel. This is Jerry, and for today's video, I'm going to be giving my Nintendo Switch OLED a cute makeover. Let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so I went ahead and picked out some accessories that I wanna be using for this makeover. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them aside and we'll pull them out as we need them. For today, I'm going to be customizing or making over my Nintendo Switch OLED, which is, oops, the screen's on this one right here and right now it has uh, my melody skin on the back this is from game beluga designs i will link it in the description if you guys are interested in this skin and right now i'm using uh, my pink joy cons that i customized myself i swapped out the shell and the buttons for this sakura pink shell and white buttons from extreme rate i have a video on how i did that i will link the video for um that below if you guys want to watch that so yeah let's go ahead and get into it i'm just going to go ahead and slide the joy cons off and i'm going to leave the skin on because i don't think we need to take it off for this customization but i'm going to take off the thumb grips from the joy cons i have these pink and white thumb grips from geek share right now Okay, first thing I want to do is put a protective case. I always like to use a protective case on my Joy-Cons and on my devices to just protect the, um, the shell of the device from getting scratches or anything like that. The shell or protective case that I'm using today is by GeekShare and it's an anti-fingerprint texture protective case for the Switch. Here's a little preview of it. It says here it's for the Nintendo Switch OLED. And yeah, let's open it up. So this case of course comes with the Joy-Con shells as well as the back plate shell. It features this really cute design with this um, kitty drinking uh, yogurt milk and I think it's just so cute. So the whole theme that I'm going for here is like blue and kittens with a little bit of pink. You see how there's like touches of pink in there? So I want to incorporate that into the um, makeover. So let's start by putting the covers on the Joy-Cons. These are really easy to put on. You just want to get this part, the top part with the buttons, push that in first, and then slide in like that. Super easy. And then you get this top piece, align it, and then kind of slide it in like that, and like that. And that's super easy. And I decided to use the pink Joy-Cons today because I thought that little touch of pink went really cute with the... Um, design here because you see how it's blue and white but with a touch of pink so i thought the pink joy cons would go really good i wasn't sure at first if i wanted to use the original oled joy cons these i haven't customized them at all because they're the original joy cons that came with the oled so i'm not sure if i want to swap the shell or swap the buttons maybe just the buttons what do you guys think let me know so i was gonna use these but then i decided i like the white buttons with a touch of pink more I also have these colorful Joy-Cons that match th with uh, my Melody theme. They're just like a pink see-through like shell with colorful buttons that I customized on this channel before and then they have that my Melody skin on top. Alright, so I'm just going to do the left Joy-Con the same way. super cute and then the back plate is really easy to do too you just pick one side the bottom or the top kind of put it in and then snap the other part in like that and it fits really snug and nicely this is what the front looks like and then the back I saw um a screen protector for this one. I have a glass screen protector on it, but I saw one on Amazon that has like a white border and I wanted to get that one, but I completely forgot. So I'll probably try to order that today. All right, so the next thing that I want to do is choose thumb grips to go on the um, thumbsticks. I have these that I got from GeekShare the other day. So the Kitty Gamer would look cute because they're kitty and they're blue pink and white so I feel like that goes with the theme maybe this one more since this one has purple in it 
or maybe do one of each and then i was thinking these actually go with the theme too because they're blue and white the wings and it's just like super pretty and cute or i have my little cinema roll bento box container full of thumb grips and we can look through here for some maybe like blue and white paws or maybe the pink and white paws for that touch of pink i don't know times like this i wish i was doing it live so that we could discuss it and you guys could help me pick but like pink and blue would look really cute right hmm i'm not sure if i want to go with that the pink and blue paws or the little gamer kitties all right i think i've decided on one pink paw and one white gamer cat let's go ahead and see how that looks all right so i'm gonna put these thumb grips on how you guys have shown me before you just kind of push it oops <laughs> inside out like this oh <laughs> puffed back up like that and then place it over the thumbstick and push the sides down like that these kind of noticed um that technique doesn't really work as well because they're thicker but usually I'll just like open it wide like that and then stick it over the thumb stick. And that one seemed to go on pretty easily. So this is how they look with the thumb sticks, I'm sorry, thumb grips on there. I think they're so cute. I think it fits the theme really nicely. All right, let's move on. Now I just want to see how everything looks together, so let's put that aside and slide these Joy-Cons on. So this is how it looks from the front. I think it's super cute. And then from the back, it looks like this. They're just like a soft touch light blue in the back, but I love this like ergonomic grip at the bottom so it's more comfortable to hold. But I think everything looks super cute. Super happy about that. Let's, um, let's pick a carrying case and then I'll show you the game card case too that I wanna use. So for the game card case, I wanted to use this new one that I got from Geekshare. Here's a little preview of one side of it. So this is one side and it matches the back of the OLED um, case perfectly. So super cute. It's this really nice soft touch material. And then here's the other side, yogurt milk cat. So cute. And when you open it, it's really easy to open, and this is how the inside looks. It has these really soft inserts for games, and I have a handful of games right here that I'm going to pop in to show you. So I've got this handful of games. We can start popping these in. I'll show you how easy they are to get in. You just kind of slide it in like that, and then pop it in and it pops in so easy. And to pull them out, they have this little slot here. You just put your finger in. And pop them out like that. So I really like this. They're also snug. They don't fall out for any reason. Like, I think this is a great case. I'm gonna start with all my Animal Crossings. So there's like about 10 games or so. I believe you can fit 24 games in here and it's pretty slim, so I really like that about it. So cool, everything's coming together so cute and everything matches. Now I'm gonna show you the um, carrying case because I always like to have a carrying case because I, I kind of travel a lot between 
my house, my twin sister's house, and then my shop. So I like to have a carrying case to protect everything while I'm moving around traveling. So today I'm going to be using a carrying case from Geekshare. This one fits the Nintendo Switch and the Nintendo Switch OLED. Let's go ahead and open it up. So it's this really beautiful blue color. It has this cute paw on the top with little raised paw pads. On the back there's a white cat. And then it has this little these little D-rings here so that you could attach a strap if you wanted to wear it as a crossbody bag. Um, and then I love the little zipper pulls. They're like little cat faces with little cat um, bean paws on there. It opens really nicely and easily. And then the inside is this beautiful, beautiful blue color. I moved the angle a little bit so that you guys can get a better view. But as you can see, it's a really beautiful blue color on the inside. It has these little um, bungees here where you can put up to 10 games. This part here is this really soft velvety material. And this part here will protect the screen on your device. And then it has the Geekshare little logo there. And then it has this netted pocket here where you can put any um, of your personal belongings like um, charms, a game case, extra grips, headphones, stuff like that. So let's go ahead and see how everything fits in here. I'm going to put the Joy-Cons back on. And this fits in here nicely like that, even with the protective case on. Put this down and see this really soft part here protects the screen. And then you can um, secure it with this Velcro strap like that so that it doesn't move around or fall out or scratch the screen in any way. I'm hoping that this game card case fits in here. It looks like it will. Yeah, so that fit in there very easily, which I think is cool. And let's see if it closes. So it does close. The zipper's pretty wide with everything inside, which I think is really nice. It also still opens very easily. Oh, and before I forget, I do want to add some charms to the case. So I have this little bucket that I keep on my desk with um, different little charms and stuff. So I'm going to try to pull out any blue charms that I think will go with this uh, makeover. And then I'm going to add them to the switch. So I pulled out a few charm options and these are all charms that I made myself and that are available on my website. Um, I wish I would have brought with me um, a paw charm. We, we make these cute little paw charms that I sell on my website that I make out of resin and I hand paint and stuff. But I don't have one here with me today. So we're going to um, go with a combination of these charms. I really want to do a bow and bell charm like these. I'm not sure if I want to do the blue satin um, bow like this or the pink one with the wings. But since this one doesn't have any blue in it, I think I'm just going to go with the blue and white. These are available on my website and um, I think I only have a listing for the winged one. But if you wanted it with no wings, you just mentioned that you don't want the wings on there. And it does come in various different colors. And to throw a little pink into the design, I'm going to use this um, white and pink moon strap. This one's available on my website and it comes in different colors. This is the white with the pink stars. There's a pink one with white stars, a blue, and a purple moon, I believe. So I'm going to go with this one and then I'm going to go with blue for the star or heart wand. These come in um, tons of different colors on my website. 
and I also put like these little hearts and um, moons on them that are like crystals and I think they look really cute so I think for this one I'm going to use the um, heart but then the moon I think I'm gonna put on the game card case because I saw a little spot on there where it looks like you could add charms let me show you in the game card case I noticed this little spot here and I'm thinking we can attach charms there it might be easier to put like a silver hoop through it and then attach all the charms you want through the hoop but I'm gonna see if we can just put this star through the um, hole that's already there so I'm just gonna pinch the strap like that and try to push it through hmm seems kind of tight maybe if I use tweezers I do have some tweezers here Okay, so it was easier to do with the tweezers, but I think the easiest thing is to just attach a jump ring here. So I'm just going to pull it through and then pull the whole charm through like this. And then that creates like a little knot like that. And now we have a cute little charm hanging from our game card case. That is so cute. I might shorten the strap later. But for now, I think that's really cute, so I'm happy with that. I'm going to leave that charm on there. And then these charms I'm going to put on the switch. So I'm going to need a dust plug. I have a clear dust plug right here. And this is just um, a clear plug that you plug into the earphone jack. And it's meant to protect your earphone jack from any dust getting in there. This dust plug has a like clear, a clear, sorry, a little hole at the top. So I went ahead and put a little silver o-ring or jump ring into the top of it like that so i'm going to press this into the earphone jack and then hang my charms from it if you're interested in these just google clear dust plug and you'll be able to find them and then at your local like michael's joann's any craft store or even online you can google um jump ring and find them i think this one is seven millimeters So since this charm has a clasp on it, I'm just going to open the clasp and attach it just like that. And the straps, I'm going to attach the same way that you saw me attach to the loop on the game card case. We'll just push it through like that. And then pull the whole charm through like this. And then when you pull, it kind of makes a little knot like that. And now your charm is hanging from the o-ring i'm going to do the same thing with the heart like that and now we have all our charms hanging from the dust plug so now I'm going to grab the switch and then this little plug I'm going to put it in the earphone jack like that and now we have our charms hanging from our switch. I think this combination is super cute and goes with the design really well. I'm really happy with it. Yay, so now all our stuff has cute little charms hanging from it. Let's see how it looks in the front. Oh no, sorry, I apologize for my dusty screen. Got fingerprints all over it. And remember, I have a tempered glass screen protector on my screen. You want to make sure you always have one. I think tempered glass are the best ones. And then that's how it looks in the front. So cute, I'm really happy with it. I hope you guys like it too. That's all for today's Switch Makeover. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Love you guys so much. See you in the next one. Kitty and Jerry.